Hi, this week's lab is on exploring the mechanical energy of a volleyball as it gets tossed or bounced. Uh, of course, you know something about the conservation of energy, where the kinetic energy as you throw something up changes into potential energy, gravitational potential energy, and changes back to kinetic on the way down. So then you can see how that all works together. Uh, the other case you want to look at is when the knee bounces on the ground. You would expect with each successive bounce, it will lose a certain amount of energy. So then, um, to keep track of all this stuff, we will use a motion detector where we can detect distance, which will give us our height or our gravitational potential energy, as well as our speed, which will give us our kinetic energy. So, for the first case, what we're dealing with the toss ball, we simply put the motion detector on the table like this, and remembering that we need about half a meter of distance between the motion detector and the ball for it to work properly, so we have to release a little bit higher. And then the trick is just to try and throw it straight up and down. Something like that. And if this is too tall for you, you can also put it on the ground and do it. And for case two, we want to um, point the motion detector downward. So that has some complication about what your side convention should be. Remembering that the motion detector measures positive away from itself. So we release fairly low. Once again, we need that about half a meter distance. And then just drop it. Um, in terms of what you predict to see, that's part of your pre lab, so please go through that in your lab manual and to read through the whole instruction as well. Otherwise,